for the guys in the Bedini Earthlight thread and anybody working on crystal cells in trying to find out learn a little more about what a depolarizer was I went back to the 1860s and found this gravity cell a variant of the Danielle cell gravity cell also called a crow's foot cell because this zinc negative terminal was cast in a way that it looked like a crow's foot that was in order to get more surface area in the cell from the best I can tell this was a fairly good sized cell maybe 8 to 10 inches tall and as much as 6 inches uh, in diameter the use of or the uh, the way that they described the depolarizer was this copper sulfate solution so I decided to make a small gravity cell crow's foot cell for myself I wanted to see how all this worked okay so this is my version of the gravity cell kind of dark but you can see I've got got copper on the bottom the uh, slightly it's hard to tell but it's light blue that's the copper sulfate and uh, in this basket are just some zinc pennies um, I've got about 25 pennies in there I roughed up the edges of the pennies and one side there's still copper on one side but the other side is roughed up to where uh, the zinc is exposed and also on the edges now I've got this cell hooked up to oh let me first say this this is about a month old um, and it's been running non-stop since it was made I've got it hooked up here to just a little blocking oscillator um, this is a circuit that lid motor showed us how to make uh, the circuit that's used on penny so uh, there there's there's that LED I'm looking straight down on it you can tell it's pretty bright and it's uh, it's running around 15 16 17 milliamps something like that now on lid motor circuit I put a 50k pot so that I could get get better current through there but what I want to show you I'm going to short circuit this cell and uh, notice that my milliamps jump past a hundred uh, and like I say, this has been running about a month now. I did have to add just a little bit of extra uh, copper sulfate a few days ago, uh, as it was starting to get weak. And that, and that's what I understand about this depolarizer used in this cell, is this copper copper sulfate is going to break down as it attacks the hydrogen, trying to get get to the copper electrode it's going to eventually break down and, and not be useful anymore. Uh, as well, I understand the, the zinc pennies uh, are going to make so much zinc sulfate that it creates way too much protection and uh, it's going to hurt the cell there too. But uh, one of the nice things about this is you either add a little more zinc sulfate when it gets too weak or you uh, pull a little bit of the uh, top clear solution out and replace it with water and you're pretty much good to go again until all the pennies have uh, been consumed okay this is the same cell again well not the same same type of cell but a brand new one that I made last night and I wanted to show you this is just a uh, little circuit out of one of those solar accent lights now this cell is 24 hours old and it's it's only putting out about six seven milliamps right now but tomorrow night this thing will be be pushing a full 15 milliamps which is what this little circuit draws even on a fully charged AA battery it's, it's going to pull about 15 milliamps and that's one of the reasons why on that other cell uh, I, I set the current at 15 milliamps on on that uh, blocking oscillator Uh, I'm, I'm letting all these run while I also watch my bioplastic cells that I've made 
And uh, just to let you know, they're, <laughs> they're doing real good. I didn't think they'd last this long, so I'm very encouraged. So thank you for watching.